So I'm entering us into the ballot for the old course. Yeah. You can't book a tea time. Yeah. You have to enter the ballot. The ballot is done 48 hours in advance. Yeah. So we want to play on Wednesday, yeah. hopefully. Um, so on Monday, today, we're going to enter the ballot before 2 p.m. Yeah. And at 5 p.m. later today. today, we will get you know, the good or bad news. So we will find out later today if we actually make the cut. I never knew how badly I wanted to play this course until this very moment. So we had a few hours to kill and started at our St Andrew's pilgrimage by paying our respects to the keeper of the greens and old Tom Morris's family grave. And on the way, I made a quick stop off to try what can only be described as a Scottish delicacy. I just want to order a deep fried Mars bar. Do you do them, yeah? Yeah. Just the one. Just one, please. Thank you. It's as, it's as you'd expect. It's a hot melted Mars bar, wrapped in batter, you would find on a fish. Next up was a quick look at where I could have started life, well if I had half a brain. St Andrews University has been home to royalty and the finest minds from across the world, and as I fall into neither category, this is as close as I'm going to get. With a mind full of regret and what could have been, I look for solace in a cream cake. Comfort food is what I needed and the infamous Fisher and Donaldson has the royal seal of approval and it now has mine. Right now you've waited uh, no more than two minutes to find out did we actually get a tea time at the old course. It's painful, right? Imagine how we felt six hours before we found out our fate. It would drive anyone to drink. So we did. In the one pub that you have to visit in St Andrews, commonly known as the Dunny, any Aussies watching this don't get too confused, the Dunvegan is a hive of golf tales. All I needed now was an old course souvenir that didn't require a remortgage to the house. Sweatshirt bought, I'm ready. But the big question is, did we make the ballot? Uh, Brilliant. Uh, composition D today. D. Oh, D. all important D. D. Thank, Thank you so much, much mate. Cheers. Yeah, there's another two pair of Yeah, I've not seen Brilliant. Thank you. Lou, don't go anywhere. We've just um, we made the ballot. That's the good news. We made the good. Yeah. yeah. Tea time 9:50. Yeah. How are you yeah. feeling? I mean, I'm all right. I'm, I'm more uh, more interested in you. What, oh yeah. What, um, what do you want to know from well, me? I've played it before, but. I'm really interested in how you feel. You're not a... I'm not... I'm all right right now, but I mean, the closer it gets, what are we, 9.20, which is 9.50. You're not 9, a panicker 50. or anything, or you're not a worrier, are you? No, but, but I'll be nervous is, on that it, team. It mate. is the first tee, so... It's the first tee at St Andrews, and I've never played it before. So I am super excited, that's the first thing. Not nervous yet, but will be when I step up, and uh, I've thought about all last night, what my tee shot's gonna look like. I doubt what I dreamt about is anything like what it'll end up being, but we'll soon find out. Uh, you mean Mike's just gone off, so it doesn't matter, but yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. But I'll work down in a minute. Let's have a look, he said the bush, didn't he? No, it's in my bag. Thank you. Did you? Oh. Yeah, good ball. Good. We're playing the old course, mate, and we've just <laughs> got one off. We've got one away. It's pretty standard for you, but I'm happy that I got one drilled right down the middle there, yeah. and it's uh, that was a, just a just a good experience, isn't it? You're not nervous at all. I probably I wasn't bad. If I, I, I was surprised that I kept it quite calm, but I was making an yeah, effort yeah. to stay quite calm as well. You couldn't be more me. in the middle. You want to spin that no. round? I know, drilled it's amazing. it. Amazing. Well, we both have to be fair. So. 
I don't know, you can pick it up somewhere down there, and that's the flag. Yeah, we're just, we're away. Yeah. Do you want to see where your ball is? I've yeah. just, I've just not filmed his chip shot, and he's just canned it for a birdie just, on the just first. Just again. Canned it. Oh, he's got to have the camera on for this. Wedged in. He won't tell you, won't tell you about missing it's the green. Start, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> I'd have played a stymie, Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great shot. That's where it is all its way up. Yeah, it won't be all far off, yeah. That. Thank you for that. <laughs> Right, bit of a score update. Uh, first of all, good news, the first tee shot went really well and uh, part of the first, so happy already. And uh, I'm one over, I had one bogey so far through four holes. So yeah, decent start, calm down a bit. Right, through the back, Lou. Oh, I like to, I'm going first, I'll give you the line. I like that, I like that. So what you're about to witness is what makes the old course so interesting. The green complexes are vast, but if you miss them in the wrong place, you're in big trouble, even though you've got putter in hand. Oh, just needs a touch more, you know. Oh, lucky that. Needs a touch more, it's over the brow in a way. No win, is that? You got two options. Yeah. Short it's such a short it's, long. That's so hard, that isn't it? Yeah. Two, so two for two there. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Last two holes, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah. This week's episode is very different. It's not cinematic, there is no drone, there's no slow-mo, but it is our best efforts to film the experience of playing the old course and an attempt to immerse yourself into our special day. Good up and down, Lou. What's that? Line or just left of that? Well, was the room on the left-hand side? Right. Brilliant effort there. Good port. Today. When he's tuning on the updates, uh, the rain has come and uh, front nine I finished five over and had five three putts. So yeah, the greens were, if you missed the greens in the wrong place, that's uh, missed a few shortens though, disappointing, but overall not too bad. This is episode 22 of our Off The Beaten Track series, which has been brought to you thanks to our partnership with PXG, who have been incredible in their support of this series as have all of you who watch our weekly episodes. Oh. 
Just give you an idea to how hard it is to put on these things if you're, you're missing the wrong place. It's a ridiculous pin. Oh, just look how far it's gone on now. I'm sick inside. Oh, it was the swooper you went for, and the swooper you got. The Great effort there, beautiful. Before we take the stroll down 18, we can't not have a photo of the week. The old course pictures were taken the evening before, and there are a couple of non-golf thrown into boot. That's the day that loom. Well, Lou, we're back where we uh, started, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, we haven't spoken a lot because it's not easy to film these things when there's so much going on around you and not all the play up. But uh, got two balls away down 18. Yeah, really. Quite happy, happy with them. Two balls away down the first and two down. Yeah, yeah, down 18, take that. So. So, yeah. All we need is we two more shots. Well, actually, we? Yeah, it's been solid, to be fair. Yeah. It's, uh, it's peeing down now, making it a little bit more difficult. But uh, it'd be nice to have a roll of a birdie on the last there's one. There's no place like this, though, is it? No, that's what we're walking up to. Yeah. Which is. Uh, yeah, it's very special, isn't it? We're good. Do you think it's 160? Yeah. Into the wind, five? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I reckon one for the uphill and one for the wind. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Down ball. It's okay. Right it's okay. Club. Yeah, it's okay. Pull right the club. Hey. Whoa! Guys! Oh. Can't come up 
Come on, be right. Get up. Get up. Rod's having a great time, isn't he? Yeah. Rod's in his element. Rod's loving life on the big stage. I'll come to you first. Come on, Lou. Up and down. Be a good round. Bit more, bit more. No, go on. Sure. You go on. I've got this so you carry sure. on. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Come on, finish on a putt, on a par. Oh, fucking hell, not again. That was bold, wasn't it? Bold. Let me just, uh, I'll just go straight to that. For those of you who wondered, I shot 83, which was 11 over par. And considering how many times I three-putted and how many horseshoed on me, I'm pretty happy with my performance, to be fair. I can't film this episode without referencing the Russocks Hotel. The renovation of this landmark hotel is incredible and an ability to create a new hotel and retain the charm and character throughout the building has to be applauded. Spending two nights in the hotel that overlooks the old course made the whole trip extra special and one that will long live in the memory. There was only one thing left to do, some post round analysis in the Criterion Bar. So you're going to have to, I've left you in charge of food and I've got the biggest pie I've ever seen in your life in front of me. Where am I? We're in the criteria. So this is my favourite place to meet in St Andrews. Yeah. Why? Well, look at it. Yeah, yeah. Well, look at it. What was it? Is this getting tipped out on the plate or do you eat yours inside the bowl? You eat it you, how you see fit. You're just made up that it's not a burger, I think. No, I'm all for burgers, but I'm surprised. Yeah, it's a little bit... Um, it's a little bit left field for you, this. I thought you yeah. only did burgers. No, this is this is the best. Mine's coming out on the table, mate. Not the table, but. A bold plan to my face? Yeah, it's not about golf. It's not about golf. It's a bit part player in what we're, um, what we're doing. Did you need a side of fries? Oh my word, that is fun. I forgot where I was going now. And I couldn't say. Oh, wow. Okay. 
Oh, I've never seen anyone do that with a fried guy. You know. That's a really good style. I'm not sure about that. That's controversial. <laughs> Between the two of them, the Levi to eggs, the Sarah to eggs.